Today I'm going to share with you my entire coach collection from bag charms to pouches to handbags and more. And this video is in collaboration with Winnie B LV and Yota Style who are also showing their coach collections. So you're in for hours of coach packed entertainment. Stay tuned. <music> Hi YouTube, Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My channel is all about luxury living on a budget from high-end luxury handbags and small goods to the everyday luxuries of life. If that sounds interesting to you, please make sure you subscribe, click the bell notification icon to be notified when I post new videos, and be sure to like the videos that you enjoy. And one of the perks of subscribing to my channel is you get to see my community post on your YouTube homepage where I post deals, discount codes, sales, and rare finds related to these beautiful things we love. Now Coach is a brand where you can get luxury, true luxury quality, design materials, all that, for much more reasonable prices than the traditional luxury brands. Coach is considered contemporary, but they have bags that are just as luxurious as bags you'd find at those other brands. Not everything at Coach is that top tier quality, but a lot is. So as I go through everything, and I'm gonna try not to talk too much about each piece and just show you what I have, because I have a lot, you can see some of what's behind me. I also have some things on the floor and on the table in front of me. A lot on the table in front of me. But I will try to remember to tell you whether it's a boutique item or whether it's an outlet item and whether I think it's that luxury quality. And like I said, this is a collaboration with Yota Style and Winnie B LV. I will have their videos linked below, so when you're done watching this, please go check those out and see what they have in their coach collections. I also have one coach handbag in this video that I have not yet shown you before. The unboxing will be coming up at some point. Don't know when yet, so stay tuned for that as well. It's a very special piece that I'm excited about, and it's not that one, which I just unboxed in my previous video, and I will have that linked below. There's another one you haven't seen. Let's get started. We're going to start with the bag charms, because they're the smallest and I have the most. I won't show you all of the bag charms in this little segment, because I have a couple of bag charms on bags, so when we get to those bags, you'll see those charms. First, my least favorite charm, and that's just because it's not one that I wear very often. Often I got it for a very specific reason. Patriotic holidays. It's this red, white, and blue stars charm. Each of these are on leather. And if you've ever seen me talk about Coach bag charms before, you know what I'm about to say. Coach makes the best bag charms, especially the boutique bag charms, but some of the outlet charms too. This is an outlet charm. The quality of this, just as nice as any of my bag charms from Louis Vuitton. It's thick leather pieces with glazing around the edges, and it has metal accents on each star. There's great attention to detail here. Next, this is an also an outlet charm, and it's a nice heavy-duty metal. It's a bright, shiny silver, and then it has a brass horse and carriage. You see it better there? Same quality and thickness as a Louis Vuitton bag charm. I also have this Cherries bag charm. This is an outlet item as well. It's resin, I would guess. The leaves and the cherries themselves, the rest of it is metal. The boutique version doesn't have green leaves, it's gold leaves. This was a gift from Yota Style. This rocket bag charm. This is one you can really see the thickness on and see how well made this is. Leather backing and then the rocket itself is all metal and there are a few layers of metal. This is a very heavy bag charm. I almost never wear it because of that, but it is really beautifully made. The Basquiat Pez Dispenser bag charm. And this is the boutique version. I also had the outlet version when the outlet Basquiat collection dropped and I gave that one away during Vlogmas. The outlet version had some little glitter accents, which this boutique version does not. But the boutique version has two layers of leather, and I think the outlet one was only one. I could be wrong. The outlet one had the monogram CCs on the back. This one is black. Lovely charm. And part of my artist collaboration collection. This one kind of is too. The Campbell Soup bag charm, which of course reminds me of the Andy Warhol Campbell Soup prints. This is an outlet piece, and it was part of a collection with American and foods on bags and small goods and bag charms. They had the Campbell soup, they had bazooka gum, they had Cracker Jacks, don't remember what else. But I like it because I think of it as an artist collaboration piece with Andy Warhol. I can even put it on my pearl paint bag, go to art teacher conferences, and I have these two. I'll show them to you one at a time and give you a little spin of them. These are from the Peanuts collection that dropped at the outlet, and they are excellent quality. Again, just as good as some of the stuffed animal kind of bag charms you would get from any of the luxury houses. Here's the Woodstock charm. They're just 
fabulously well done. I've never actually worn these on a bag because I think they look really childish. Same reason I never bought one of those Burberry bears to hang from my bag, but I think they're really cute. So they look nice on display in my closet. I have this Twilly. It's the same on both sides. I got this at the outlet, but I'm not sure if it was an outlet piece or a boutique piece. This was a long time ago, probably 15 years ago. Yeah, I remember when they had that plaid print. It was on everything and inside all the bags. That's when that's from. I have two notebook covers. These are both from the outlet as well. One has these flowers that kind of reminds me of the Stephen Sprouse roses from Louis Vuitton. The other has the horse and carriage print in these light colors. Each came with a coach notebook and there are no pockets on these whatsoever except for this one where the notebook fits in. I have to say I'm never gonna buy another one of these. I really don't like them very much. They're nice if you just need a notebook but I need pockets and I'm also not crazy about the feel of the leather inside. It's it's not sticky like it's not tacky to the touch but it's the kind of thing that would attract dirt and lint and that would get stuck on it you know and it's difficult to slip the notebook in that pocket because it gets stuck. What are you gonna do? I have three coach card holders. This one is from the boutique. It's the Art Deco print from a few years back. Always loved that. I use that to carry my healthcare cards. I don't remember if this was an outlet or a boutique piece. I want to say it was outlet. And then this is an outlet piece in chalk. This one was a gift from Yota Style. I have to say I'm not impressed with the quality of the coach card holders, even the boutique one. Compared to my luxury card holders, these feel flimsy flimsy and thin. I have two wallety things. There's this denim one which is technically a coin holder and this is from the outlet. You zip it around and it has those slots in there. It has a similar layout to the Louis Vuitton zippy coin but isn't as tall and doesn't have the same capacity. It's really best used for coins and not so much for cards. And this is the Dreamer card holder. It has a back pocket and then it has this metal piece which is a snap that opens up and I have it upside down. It has several card holders and then there's there's a card holder here and a pocket there for a big stack of cards, another pocket here, and then there's this zipped area where you could put coins or whatever else. A nice piece, but I also find it a little flimsy, the leather a little thin. I mean, it's not gonna fall apart on you. I'm just comparing it to luxury brands. Those feel more substantial, but this is a great layout and it holds a lot. Now we move on to pouches. I have this round one. This is from the men's collection and I wanna say it was an outlet piece, but I'm not sure. This was a gift from Winnie BLV, and this is one of my artist collaboration pieces, and I always forget the name of this artist. My apologies. And I have two pieces that were gifts from Yota Style. This candy corn coin purse, try to say that three times fast. This is from Halloween of last year, and it's from the outlet. And this heart-shaped coin purse card holder thingy, wristlet is what it is. I just don't have the wristlet strap attached to it with the roses on it. Very pretty. I have another piece from the Peanuts collection, this mini boxy cosmetic and it's very cute with the CC's and the little Snoopies. This is a fantastic size for holding a lot of tiny things in your bag and I wish they would release more of these and more patterns. I have the Nolita 19 with the chain. This is from the outlet but I would say this is boutique quality. The Nolita 15 from the outlet. This one is the newer version with the leather strap. Also boutique quality. Another Nolita 15. This is in the green and in the photos, I'm still upset about this, in the photos on the Coach Outlet website, the inside was a yellow color, like a mustard yellow, and it's not, it's green, which I'm very disappointed about, but I do like that it has silver hardware in this one. I have this pouch with the rocket on it, which is a corner zip pouch, and if I remember correctly, this was a gift from Winnie B. LV, because she knows I like rockets. You'll see rockets on a few of my Coach pieces. You already saw the bag charm. And another corner zip pouch. This is from the Basquiat collection, and this is an outlet piece, although it's the same quality as the boutique pieces, I would say. That's the Basquiat Skyline. You'll see that on another piece as well. I also have this toiletry case, which is from the outlet, and it's PVC with leather accents. I use this a lot, particularly for travel. What I do is put it inside one of my Longchamp totes, and this is where I store all my technology cables and my hard drives and my card readers and all that stuff. It keeps it organized, and it also keeps it in a clear container 
container where I can see what I need without having to open it up and dig inside. And I have this Julienne Juliette domed cosmetic bag. This is in the larger size. There are two different sizes and currently the smaller size in a pink is available on the Coach Outlet website, but this is a boutique bag and the smaller one is only like $30 and I think retail was 50 something or 70 something. So it's a pretty great deal. This one was closer to a hundred. It is really well made. It's very well structured. It's lined in leather. It's beautiful and classic looking, but I've never used it. I think I just don't like the dome shape. I have the same problem with the Louis Vuitton dome cosmetics, but the quality is excellent on this. I would say luxury quality. All right, folks, it is the moment you have been waiting for. We are finally going to get to the coach handbags. I'm going to start with the stuff on the floor that you can't see yet. This is the Dempsey 40, the 40 centimeter size in the denim. This is from the coach outlet. This is still available, so I'll link it below. And then they also have the 20 centimeter size, the little small one. Beautiful bag, well made, has some organization inside. And Coach Boutique had released, I think maybe it was exclusive to Saks or it was only overseas, one of those, or maybe both of those. But it was a denim bag from the boutique that had red handles. And that's the one I really wanted, but it was impossible to find. So I got this as sort of a compromise bag, but I still love it, it's beautiful. And to go with that and add a little organization, I got this pouch which is in denim, flat pouch. This is a boutique piece that I got from Macy's. It has a little turn lock there. You open that up, unzip it. It's got a zipped pocket inside. And when I carry that big tote, this is a good place to put my cell phone and my wallet where I can find it easily just by feeling around in the bag and not having to look and dig through everything. Plus, it goes really well with the impossible to find denim field tote from Coach from the boutique that I did eventually find. I found this in a Facebook group and I I got a decent price on it and it's beautiful. I love it. There are some advantages to the other denim bag and some advantages to this one. I have a video comparing the two, so I will link that below in case you're interested. This bag has a turn lock here and you open that up and it's the red inside and then it has this shoulder strap as well. And I have another boutique field tote. That's this one with the rockets. This is from right when the, the stagecoach print was brand new and I just love the yellow rocket on it. I think it's really fun and playful and I like rockets. I'm in Houston. We have NASA. I have a friend who's connected to rockets in a way so I had to have this bag and that came with this pouch similar to that flat denim pouch so that's helpful for organization and when I bought that they also had this other piece in the boutique that I wanted but I thought it was too expensive for what it was but eventually it ended up on the outlet so I got it. The matching academic pouch I think that's the name of this it might be under another name they have these under a few names so that's fantastic to help organize that bag. That's all the bags on the floor. Let's start with the shelves. I think we'll start over here and work our way that way. From the top shelf, we have the Coach Tabby bag. This is the shoulder bag size. It also comes with a crossbody strap, which I believe is black. Yes, I have it inside. It is black. I love the organization of this. This bag makes me want a Gucci Dionysus. I think it's just really beautiful. This is an uncoated textured fabric. I love the C. I love the th three different colors. The layout of it is great. The giant back pocket. This is a wonderful bag. If you saw my previous video, you're familiar with the newest bag to my Coach collection. The Coach Cash and Carry Tote, just released as part of the Spring 2022 collection. And this has pearl paint on the front, which is a legendary art supply store in New York. This is another of my Basquiat pieces. This is the K crossbody bag, and I don't have the crossbody strap on it. This is from the outlet with Basquiat artwork on it. And inside, I keep my makeup for my Halloween videos. Now you guys are gonna need to help me out with the names of some of these vintage coach bags because I don't remember them all. There's several that look very similar, but they're different sizes. This is the smallest one that I have. I love this. It's a perfect size. It has a giant back pocket. It has the turn lock, the flap. It has a pocket here, and then that main pocket. I have the shoulder or crossbody straps stored inside all of these bags. This is in the British 
British tan color. It is absolutely beautiful. If you are not yet familiar with Coach vintage bags, check them out. The leather is exquisite, but be careful because it's a rabbit hole. I got into them and bought like, I don't know how many, a dozen, 20, something like that. I figured out which I liked the best, kept those, sold the rest. I love these and they are so comfortable to wear. This is the next one. I don't know the official name of this color, if it's tan or saddle or something else. Uh, this one I need to clean up and stuff and I just still haven't done that with any of the bags. This does not have a back pocket or a it does have this little front pocket and then the big storage compartment and a zipped compartment on the back. And just to give you a size compare, ow, a ruler just fell on my foot and that hurt. I have my metal ruler on the table to measure things. Here's a size comparison on those two so you can see that they are a little bit different. This one's a little bigger. They're both the perfect size. And then there's this one, which I think was called the Crescent Bag. It has a shoulder strap, which again is inside the bag. I forget the name of this color too. It's Rust maybe. Beautiful bag. This was my birth year bag. It was made in 1979. I need to clean this one up too. Now I do remember the name of this one. This is the classic pouch. It has little ears with buckles here and then a shoulder strap. And this is in that same tan or saddle or whatever the name of the color is. No back pocket, has this big flap. There's a front pocket here and then a big compartment and a zipped pocket on the interior. And this, the workhorse bag, this is the stewardess bag. And this is called that because I think it was American Airlines stewardesses carried these at one point. I do have the strap attached to this. So you can see what the straps look like. Here's how it would look hanging. I just carried this one the other day. It is a beautiful bag. No back pocket, however, it has this great pocket for your cell phone and another big pocket here and then the big storage compartment in the center. This is a Basquiat piece from the outlet, the academic pouch or whatever they called it at the time. This has little drawings from Basquiat and I think it's beautiful. I have a video where I show how you can attach a strap to this to be able to wear it on your shoulder or crossbody, which to me makes it much more functional. It only comes with a wrist strap otherwise. And I have this Basquiat piece from the boutique. This is the Beat 18, 18 centimeters, quite a small bag. It does have a back pocket. It has this little top handle and the chain and a crossbody strap. This was the original beat bag. This collection is where they first released the style of bag and it became so popular that they added more in like regular colors. It's set up similar to that coach tabby shoulder bag I showed you, similar to the Gucci Dionysus, that kind of setup. Beautiful bag luxury quality for sure. Another Basquiat collection piece. This one is from the boutique as well. And this is the Rogue Tote 39. Beautiful, beautiful bag with artwork all around. And it also comes with this flat pouch in the same leather. We're on this shelf now. We are getting close. This is one of my absolute favorite bags in my coach collection. The Melody 29, 29 centimeters across the bottom. This reminds me a lot in terms of the look of it, of the Chanel reissue. It is such a beautiful bag. The quality is excellent, luxury quality, as is that Rogue Tote. It has this back pocket. When you open it up with the magnetic snap, you have a pocket here. And then similar layout, you have two compartments with a divider. The chain strap, you can double or wear as one long strap, and it has leather woven through it like on Chanel bags. You can find these on the pre-loved market, but they are getting more difficult to find. So if you like this, grab one. Expect to pay between two and four hundred dollars for it I would say. There's also a size 19, a 19 centimeter, and these bags come in this black or a blue that's called Cadet or a red. Next is another academic pouch from the Basquiat collection and this is from the outlet and it's the famous one that says famous on it. I love this bag. Luxury quality for sure. The Coach Emery 18 centimeter I think. It's the small size. It has a pocket on one side here. It has that nice little tag with the metal accents. Then there's a zip on the top and it comes with a crossbody strap in leather. Beautiful bag. Kind of similar to the Hermes Evelyn. It holds a lot more than you might think. It's very comfortable to wear. Love it. Another favorite Coach bag, somewhat recently discontinued. Wish they still made them. The Coach Cassie. This is the original one in black. Very similar, of course, to the Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse. It has a big slip pocket on the back. It has twist lock on the front with the C and the same layout with the three compartments 
as the Pochette Matisse. I also have another bag charm on this one. This is the brass version of that silver one that I showed you from the outlet. The bag is from the boutique and it is luxury quality. In fact, it's better quality than the Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse. The Coach Alexa. This is in the large size. There is a smaller one. Big back pocket. It is very similar in shape and layout. Turn lock here. To the Louis Vuitton favorite bag. There's the inside. Mine came with a chain strap. You could also attach a thin leather strap to it or whatever other strap you wanted to. This is the smooth leather. It also came in croc and a few other colors. And there was one that was like a crinkled leather and one that was glittery. Boutique bags, great quality. And I think it has several advantages to the Louis Vuitton favorite, like the back pocket and a more secure closure. All right, last coach bag in my collection. This is the one you have not seen yet. I'm excited to give you a little sneak peek here, but there will be a full unboxing and overview of this bag in a future video. And it is the Coach Beat Saddlebag from the Michael B. Jordan collection, which really should have been called the Blue Collaboration or Collection. Because the design on this, the C's are designed so they look like they're wrapped in fabric. And then my other bag charm, this is, these are both boutique items and both luxury quality. The Mummified Rexy bag charm. This design is from an artist named Blue. So this is one of my artist collaboration pieces. It comes with a black leather strap. I'll show you more details in the other video, but this bag is so beautiful, very high quality. I love the layout. I keep my little charm on it that goes with it. I'm so happy to have this bag and to have a bag from this collection. I'll tell you that story in the unboxing. It's a saga. It always is, isn't it? And that is my entire coach collection. I hope. I hope I didn't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to go over to Yota Style and Winnie B LV's channels. I will have them linked below so you can see their coach collections. I appreciate you watching and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye.